What is up, viewers? This is gonna be a quick demo about how to correct the perspective in a scene using the transform tool in Photoshop, which is something that a few people requested. Sometimes the ground where the car is parked is not level, or you're in a hurry when you take the shot, and then you notice later that the scene looks a little bit askew. Generally, a wall of a building is vertically level, so if something that's supposed to be vertical isn't true vertical, your eye will sense it and it will take away from the photo. Luckily, we can adjust this and fake it in Photoshop by stretching the image. So that's what we're gonna do with this Lamborghini Miura photo. First thing you can try is these preset geometry corrections in Lightroom or Camera Raw. In this case, they didn't quite get it right, so we're gonna switch that off and go to Photoshop. I don't recommend trying to correct the correction. I would just start with it exactly as shot. Once in Photoshop, I'm gonna make this background a layer and then I'm duplicating it just so we can do a before and after. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna make some guides just by dragging off the ruler to see what perfectly straight, perfectly horizontal is and then try to match that. They are free, you can make as many guides as you want. So I will make a whole bunch. These are for the headlights, the grill opening, uh, that vertical slat, the roof. And I'm also gonna change the crop, but I'm doing the non-destructive crop so I can always go back. Uh, in addition to the other things that are wrong with this photo, it is not perfectly symmetrical. One door is open a little bit more. It was actually a really windy day. So someone who is reflected in that driver's door is standing right offside to catch it were it to slam. So the door is not fully open all the way. So if you were to actually try to make this perfectly Stanley Kubrick straight, it would not work out. So I'm gonna hit Command T and that brings up the transform controls. And by hitting the command and dragging a corner, you will drag just that corner. So you're not resizing it, you're you're kind of stretching the image. And then by holding shift and doing that, you can stretch the image along a horizontal or vertical axis if you wanna keep that straight. So I'm just gonna drag these corners until they align. I can add more guidelines to make sure everything's in check. It will warp the whole perspective, change the proportion, but hopefully not too much. We really, it's gonna be, how can we get this visually right? I think that is good. So you see the before and after. Definitely the building looks more up to code as far as being a building that will stand and continue standing. If I wanted to go ahead and take out these yellow concrete poles, which I do, um, let's just do that really quick. That's sort of a different thing, but uh, always handy to know. There is a select subject in Photoshop. I don't know why it's not working well today, but this is a pretty terrible selection. So we're gonna go in and do it manually. The easiest way to clone out those poles in the background is to make a little cutout around that part of the car, paste that on top, and then you can do whatever you need to to the background layer underneath. And I am, for simplicity's sake, going to do both of these doors on just one layer, and then do some clone stamping. And that is the finished image. It's kind of crazy how much we've stretched and pulled it, but it still looks more correct than the original. Thank you for watching. If there's any other photo editing technique you want me to talk about, uh, leave a comment below and I'll try to take requests if it's something that makes sense for me to cover.